you know, it's, it's really funny how, like, I'll sit here and, like, I'll, like, read something. And then, like, days or not weeks later, something related to it that has nothing to do with it all of a sudden pops up. And then it's just like, oh, so that's what was, what was going to happen. Uh, apparently, the next pandemic could spring from the U.S. meat supply. New report finds, which is well after I found out about, um, what is it called? Cultured meat? Cultivated meat? I can't remember what it's called. Either way, um... It's got, like, it's weird. It is, is it, you might want to start getting your own cows and slaughtering your own chickens at this point. Just go ahead. The next global pandemic could come from the United States. Why? That's a sobering message from the report from the law, from the Harvard Law School and New York University. Examining how humans, livestock, and wild animal, animals interact. Many, I need to cut this lump off of you, sir, and I know you're not going to let me do it immediately. Sorry, Fat Man is with me. I found a little knot on him, and I'm just like, oh, where he is? Where he is, the baby babies. Anyway, um, many familiar and terrifying diseases originated in animals, including HIV slash AIDS, Ebola, Zika, pandemic flu, and the COVID-19. When did COVID-19 come from an animal? Wait, what? Are, like, am I am I reading that right? Why why is that here? Oh, all the way up. Let me like Google some shit. Da 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 da. Don't worry about the dreads unraveling like my ends are, but that's because I keep leaving my hair down when I'm working shit. I need to actually tie it up in a hair tie all the time because it's getting a lot of length but at the same time it's like I don't want a headache so far my hair thing's working do I really need to tie my hair probably um what the fuck were we gonna look at? oh then from an infant no okay and the virus that caused the plague gets spread from people to animals really Okay. What animal is to blame? Bats? This pangolin trafficking? What the fuck is a pangolin? What is a pangolin? Scaling ant ear. I want one. Oh, is that an ant eater with armor? Oh my! I, oh, is that a baby? Oh, they come in like look at the teeth. Look at the. Oh my god! Did the colors? Oh my god! They come in multi colors. They come in ombre. Trafficked mammal? Really? But I want it. Are they endangered? Paying the black market. Oh my god. Really? 
Oh my god, that poor one right here. That made me sad just looking at that. Oh my god. So, these are like traffic hit. Really. And the plague. This is so interesting. No one thought of this. Oh, I meant, oh, my bad, my bad. The role of Penguin Origin of SARS COV TAC 2. An evolution. Time to exonerate the pain. Is there a link between them and them? The Guangdong pangolins are the intermediate hosts that adapted the SARS tag COV tag 2 and represent a significant evolutionary link in the path of transmission. I was about to say, I don't think anything really lives there except for, like, people with hammers. Uh, da, 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 the market where it was found suggests that the raccoon dogs may have been infected. Mm. How much is a pang? 600 per kilogram? Wait, wait. Scales are used. Oh, no! I thought they were talking about, like, actually... Push to a stage as a man for scales to grow? Oh my god. Late 2019. Yeah, that sounds about right because I got it in um, October 2019. The first round. Trying to open air wet markets. What is it? Alrighty. Let's see. Many familiar da 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 Some started in other countries, typically on the African or Asian continents. The so-called zoonotic diseases are often blamed on poor hygiene, lack of government oversight, and or unsafe practices in those places. While Americans often think it couldn't happen here, regulations are so loose and interactions so frequent, researchers found that a virus or another contagious bug could easily jump from animal to people in the United States, sparking a deadly outbreak, which is like, why is this a thought? And isn't this what the FDA is for? Or just fuck our jobs? Is that what we're going... Okay. They, there really is this false sense of security, unfounded belief that zoonotic disease is something that happens elsewhere. So far it is. Ann Linder, one of the report's lead authors and associate director of policy and research and with the book Brooks McCormick Jr. Animal Law and Policy Program at Harvard Law School. In fact, I think we, we're more vulnerable than ever in many ways. Okay, thank you, phone, for telling me it's almost broke. What the fuck is that? Shows American mink kits fighting for space in small cage on fur farms. Side above. In the case, two kids have died due to legislation changed since this photo was taken. Farms now have slightly larger cages, but the standard level of life remains poor. In 2020, science discovered that minks could catch the COVID virus and that it could mutate and be transmitted to humans in response to market shutdowns industry. In 22, in Sweden, after temporary ban on breeding, the government allowed some mink farms to reopen. So these things were spared a horrible life because of, like, the plague. And then, like, somehow they managed to find a way of, like, being like, fuck this plague. We're going to grow these mink mills and get our profit. I, I keep saying this, but the more I learn about how humans operate, the more disgusted I am with it. I don't know how I feel with raising my kids in this world anymore every day because it's just like did they, would they did they deserve a life in hell? I don't think they did. 
This makes me feel all... It, 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 it's a very conflicting feeling, I guess, for me. Personally, myself. Um, but I digress. The report, also led by New York University Center for Environmental and Animal Protection, highlights several areas of vulnerability, including commercial farms where millions of livestock will come into close contact um, with each other. Well, don't worry. like They're burning crops and killing animals right now anyway they want to make sure nobody has access to anything uh, they're going to sort a whole bunch of shit oh boy like a, the insanity of it all oh, the insanity this highlights several areas of vulnerability including commercial farms where millions of livestock come in close contact with each other and their handlers the wild animal trade in which animals are imported with few or no health checks and the fur trade in which minks and other animals are bred for their coats with little with little safety oversight. Well, why has this been going on and no one's been doing anything about it? Why well, does it seem like everyone just keeps skirting around their responsibilities, but no one wants to take accountability? Because accountability is blame, and responsibility is fixing it so everything works better, right? No one's fixing shit, and no one wants to actually be like, yeah, I'm the one who fucked up. No one's doing that. Am I the only one who's noticing that? Because this is starting to get a little bit... Like, you know... I'm just saying, a lot of this shit wouldn't have been possible if people weren't helping to participate and keep these people in order. You know, the convenience for luxury came at what cost? I have to ask. Through globalization, we've erased seas and mountains and other natural boundaries of disease. Sid Linder, an expert in law and animal policy. How the fuck would someone in law and animal po- You know what? I'll shut the fuck up. We're mixing animals and pathogens across different continents and circulating at dizzying and ever-increasing pace. Isn't that what shots and shit are for? Isn't that what immune system? Like, all of a sudden, immune systems... Like, why don't you just give it a vaccine? They'll fix it. Like, it works, right? Like, I'm being petty. About 10 billion land animals are raised in the U.S., a number which increasing by about 2 million a year, according to a report. Pigs and poultry, for instance, are raised at a higher number in the United States than almost anywhere else in the world, and the report found, and are more likely vectors for particular lethal outbreaks of the flu. Which is like, when was the last time anyone's had the flu? Better yet, is this going to actually be the flu? Or is this just going to be a new version of the flu? Or maybe it's going to be a mix of the two. You know, fun fact, nobody even knows where the flu came from except possibly from the trenches uh, uh, where soldiers were like hiding during World War II. It just came out of nowhere and everyone was afflicted. And it, and it went away with the same steadiness, but we still have the flu all around us. And it's just like, is this going to be the actual flu? Or is this going to be something that like isn't and you're going to tell us it is because you're going to act like we don't know what it is. And it's just like, um, it hasn't been that long and most of us haven't died, so we remember what it's like. Or maybe it's been long enough for people to forget and their body's not able to fight it off. You know, like like I said, how long has it been since anyway he's had the flu? You know? Industrial representatives were quick to defend the safety of their practices. According to the CDC, the likelihood of spreading an avian disease to a human in the United States is extremely rare. Ashley Peterson, National Chicken Counselor, Senior Vice President of Scientific Regulatory Affairs, said in an emailed statement, A pork industry group did not immediately return a request for comment. Workers on pig and poultry farms are particularly vulnerable because of the lack of regulations protecting them. Said Delciania, or Delciana Winders, an associate professor of law and director of Animal Law and, Pol- and Policy Institute of Vermont Law and graduate at Royals. And there's all, this is all, some extensive titles. Uh, for people in no way, shape, or form have the, term and all, have the term doctor in front of their name. You know, I understand the whole, like, um, policies and procedures or whatever, but can, is, is there a single doctor who, who is there anyone with a Ph.D.? with a master's degree who could actually come in and tell me the medical 
shit the scientific side because i'm hearing a lot of people talking about pathogens and shit um, but their titles reference laws and regulations and policies and procedures not rules not do not sew this in here and forget about it and have the patient develop an infection not we need to give after care specialization not this is the medications and the side effects i don't i'm not hearing any of that there's not a there there's more lawyers than doctors talking. You know There's virtually no regulation of on farm raising of animals. There's limited regulation of the slaughterhouse, but it's extremely inadequate. It's getting worse. Well that's why everyone needed to read The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. I think that's what that book's called. I don't. I like it was this whole book where it was like this dude just described what happened with it. Well, what it really was was, was like um, how immigrants were abused in this country and how they fell for the political parties, the machines, how people's lives were ruined, how they were taken advantage of, how nobody was ever really given a, a, a chance, and people were more mad about how their meat was processed. Like, people didn't give a fuck about the story about the immigrants. They were more interested in the fact about how the meat was processed in these factories. Which, when you really read those books, there isn't really much that, that sounds that terrible, I'll say. But I say it with a, with a strong whisper. Because it's been a few years since I've read that book. And I should probably... It's been high school since I've actually read it. And it was actually an interesting read. I actually kept reading it past, like, everyone else. It was just like, oh, okay. So, like, dude got into this. He got into politics. He got all this. Like, he was living life as a hobo for a minute until, like, winter came. And it was just like, shit. And then he got that $100 bill. And then they fucking stole them $100 from him. Like, you never gave me a hundred Are you fucking serious, dude? No, I got that from a rich dude. They bribed me with that hundred dollars to leave the house so I didn't have to stink up the fucking place, you some bitch. And then it just all sorts of different things. All sorts of but that's but it, it, like you gotta read that book. It's actually really cool. I think that's what that book's called, The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. That's probably not I'm probably not saying any of that right, but it's been years. And I have the memory of a goldfish, so it's not like I'm actually smarter at thing. Let's see. But Winter said that it was not involved in the report, but researcher, but researches a similar area. So why the fuck? Okay, right now the federal government is deregulating slaughter rather than increasing oversight. Ooh, because the mink and larger fur industry does not produce food, it is less regulated. Linder says a different study published last week in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that mink more than so that any other farmed species poses a risk for emergence of future diseases, outbreaks, and the evolution of future pandemics. Other st- How is this possible after all these years and all these decades that all of a sudden this is becoming a threat? You know what I mean? It's like, like, is it actually a threat or are you just fucking lying in my face again like you did last time? I got questions and concerns. I started to show that minks are more susceptible to, like, SARS, the virus that causes blah, 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 and outbreaks were detected on 18 American mink farms during the pandemic's first two years. At least four Americans, two of whom worked on mink farms, were believed to have been infected by the animals. How do you know that the people just didn't give that to the animals first? I'm not. How do we know that the, the people didn't give it to the animals, and that's why how they got it? Just cough at all each other and shit like, yeah, ah! you know what I mean? Ch- Chalice, Chalice. Holmes, executive director of the Fur Commission USA, a trade group, said, We unequivocally assert that our commitment to health and safety of our animals, our workforce, and the communities in which we operate. How rough. The industry working with the federal government and state agencies vaccinated 95% of the U.S. mink population beginning summer of 2021, he said. The cost was entirely covered by the mink farmers, who are also helping to fund a SARS-2 surveillance project on mink farms. Which is like, I don't even know why they're worried about it. They're going to slaughter the poor things anyway. If they get COVID, just... Give them like two weeks, isn't that way? Like, put them in bleach. 
wash them because they need washed. You know, like they're, like they're, they're diseased and shit. But eventually, it's gonna die off, right? It's not like it lasts forever. Despite the claims from animal rights advocates, he says there is no significant threat to the general public from U.S. farmed mink. About 220 million live ant. Live animal, la, la, la. live wild animals are imported into the United States every year for pets and other purposes, many without health or safety checks. Whose fault is that? If someone wants to bring a dog or cat into this country, there is a process. But if I'm a wildlife importer and I want to bring in a hundred wild mammals from South America, I can do that with very little regulation of any kind. Oh, okay. See, that's a that's fucked up. So you, it's why I can bring like a whole anaconda on a plane with no problems, but I can't bring my fucking cat because someone might be allergic. Are you, are you fucking for, be fucking for real? Perhaps the earliest Ebola case which sparked an outbreak in West Africa in 2013 to 2016 was blamed on bush meat. Am I not supposed to make that an innuendo? Is this a test, Lord? Is this a test? Because that's not fair. That is not fair at all. How are you going to call me? I'm like, whatever. Um, it's illegal to import bush meat to the United States, but it's not illegal to import the same live animal that bush meat comes from, she said. There are wide gaps, both Linder and Winders. Hey, their, their name almost runs. I was also highlight the lack of industrial transparency. So much of this is hidden from public view, Winder says. There is so much we don't know because we're not monitoring. Winder says she's concerned about how much money the government spends subsidizing and protecting industries she believes put the American public at risk. She hopes Congress will take advantage of this year's reenactment of the Farm Bill to limit subsidies and impose new safety regulations on animal industry. And cut costs and make things a little bit... No, no, they're not going to... They're not... Yeah, like you're asking them to be responsible, man. And or server. I don't know which one I'm talking to. I'm just saying you're asking a lot from people who don't like doing much at all. And that's why they have us do it at all. Don't we see the writing on the wall? Winters asked. Scientists are telling us there is a looming threat of zoonotic outbreak that can make COVID look like a cakewalk. And we're still just ignoring it, even after all we've gone through over the last couple of years. Yep. 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 Don't be buying that plant based shit either. You don't know what the fuck it's actually made of. Because uh, recently I just learned a lot of that is not. Plant based. Check your shit, y'all. Check your shit. Comments? My thing is, how do they know it's going to be in the meat if they're not going to put it in the meat? Right! It's just like, how do you know? Like, where did you get, even get this information? Where did this come from? How many decades have we had all this shit, but now all of a sudden there's a sudden outbreak that's going to pop out? Huh. What, what would cause the outbreak? What would be in the shit to cause the outbreak to begin with? What the fuck? You know, fuck the what? I raised my own rabbit chickens. Da, 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 da. I raised my own venison. Don't worry, they're they're gonna fuck up the land and the water here. They're trying their damn this to give it time. Give it time. Pretty soon they'll be radioactive and shit. And then to keep the masses in fear, turn off your TV. It's time to throw away these stupid phones. Sad thing is, everything so attached to these devices, they're now part of their body. Sir, do you understand that when books came out, everyone was into that shit and everyone thought that that was a distraction too? It's it's funny how people like to forget that throughout all the ages, people have done everything to distract themselves from what's actually going on. And then when I act surprised when they, they see something happen, it's just like, dude, what the fuck? If they would stop shipping in all this crap meat from other countries and concentrate on meat growing in the United States, we wouldn't have anything to worry about. Oh, support your, there's a support your local farmers person. Mm. Ah, BS, they just want everyone to become vegan. Don't believe anything that comes from these colleagues. Most are very politically motivated. HIV person has been transmedion in the ocean water. You can eat soy milk and tofu. I, 
I think soy milk isn't bad, but I actually prefer almond milk. But then it's just like, and, and then there's also oat milk. But honestly, oat milk, almond milk, even soy milk, it's like, it's not even really milk when you pay attention. Like, like it's not really milk. But then again, like, it's not like I'm capable of, as like, like, honestly, you shouldn't be drinking milk if you're not a baby. There's no reason to. Like, I think the only people with the superpower to drink milk as much and, and as and, and, and as randomly and as often as they want is white people. I don't think it's because they match the same color. I just think that they have the ability to just, like, constantly, like, drink it. Which is just, like, that's not fair. Like, I can eat milk in stuff, but I can't drink milk constantly. Because I'm, I'm a fucking die. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. The farts. Nobody wants to be here for that. Nobody. I don't want to be here for that. It's my ass. Get it together, America. What the fuck ever? I'm so sick of all this fear mongering. First of all, the first paragraph is already like COVID nineteen did not come from an animal. Oh, but they changed it with the Google, which is interesting because someone actually sent me an article from like around 2016 of how this shit was. Um, oh my bad, dude. I mean, down like how it was made in a lab. But then again, also speculation. Like this is all speculation. You two don't get mad at me. I'm just reading articles and shit. Why do you think they want guns confiscated? It's so they can push her in. Oh my god. Tell me without telling me. They'll say anything to put fear in us. Well, see, and that's the thing. Everyone's just like, they're trying to put fear in us. And it's just like, well, first off, you gotta be afraid. Fear is a reactionary emotion. You don't have to react to this. If, like, this is like, Neptune's a retrograde. So they're just letting you know what's coming. Um, they don't expect you to live in fear. They just expect you to, li- to be smart enough to listen to them and be like, hey, um, this is going to come up, so you might want to get prepared. Like, we're not trying to make you live in fear. We're trying to let you know um, this is what's coming. You don't have to be afraid, but you, you can't be mad once this shit happens. Because we told you. If you think this is a fear thing, that's on you. But there are plenty of people who live in fear all the time and just go ahead and do shit. But then again, fear is actually a very good motivational um, emotion if you know how to keep yourself controlled. If you're, some people freak out and just lose their mind. It's just like, yeah, it's too late for me. No, no. And there are other people who just realize, you know, like, hey, um, I'm terrified. But I'm either going to fight my way out or run my way out or freeze. It's a, it, it, Fight, flight, or freeze is what it is. You have to figure out what you're good at and what you're going to do with it. I believe it because we have Biden. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, I like, I don't care. About I just think it's funny that Biden gets so much shit from everybody. Everybody gives him shit. They're really trying to get rid of the meat supply. Pretty much, war has been declared on American people by devils masquerading as good guys. And people win. The people win if we stand up collectively and say no. Speculative fear mongering. What left us do back? No facts, just imagination. You have no common sense. So we're already struggling to pay for everything. Now they're telling us about the meat and so all is left is fruit and vegetables. I guess we'll be walk, walking around bones and sticks. Mm, it could be sp- it could be spring from anything they wanted to. I'm just saying, like, isn't India having issues with growing tomatoes? Hmm. Speculations, old photos, and storytelling. Everything is trying to kill us. Everybody whore toilet paper now. Right! It's like, why all of a sudden the meat hasn't been a problem for tens of thousands of years now all of a sudden, right? The stories go right along with the story I saw that says that the government wants us to eat vegan meat that contains insect protein. I'm not doing another pandemic. Well! Hmm. I mean, you don't have to be here. Like I say, you choose to be here every day you wake up and decide to go back to sleep. Oh, you went to sleep while well, you woke the fuck back up. Good morning. 
Anavaxers will be experiencing karma soon. Baby, if all the food is contaminated, what the fuck does that even... Like, I don't... You know, people just like to say things, you know, that's all. You just want to be important. Well, I don't have to worry about anything since I buy mine from the local meat butcher. I can see the cow the week before. That's a good point. Always go to your butcher. Is this a threat? Nope. They're just telling us what their plans are. Exactly. Don't buy beef. Easily solved. This is America. I should be able to buy what I want with what little I get to keep from my check. Now they're saying from Africa and Asian countries, what happened to blaming China? The media is a disease, beginner and spreader. I didn't even, th- oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Even though if I listen to uh, W-I-O-N, I'm not sure, Wuon, I'm not sure how they pronounce that, right? Um, they are, um, have you ever seen that news station with people from India? They are, um... They are they 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 have no qualms with talking shit about China. I'm I'm just pointing out they, they don't have any issue talking about China, which is rather shocking to me. It, like I, I for I don't know why, but I thought that country and China were like actually allies. But it's very interesting to see that uh. Oh, they got sass. They have sass and they say all sorts of things. But I think it's an Asian thing. I think it's... I, I'm not... I don't know. I don't know. I'm from this demographic. I don't understand that demographic. Though I have seen a Vice video that I do want to watch with you guys. Which is very interesting, right? As a degree, the diseases originated from animals. Did a, you are right on the government oversight. Did a, Horace said all beef, please. I gave up on meat a long time ago. It's the best thing I ever did from when I was a little girl. Why is this just now occurring? It seems they think they think we're stupid. Probably. Probably. Seems we squash American farmers and ranchers with rule and regulations, but then purchase from another country that makes zero leg- regulations. Makes sense to me. If you're a dog owner and have gotten cancer, chances are you have parvo. Yes, parvo. Bet your dog didn't tell you that. Cancer is to parasites, also plaques. This might be a fear tactic thing, but in USA Today, which is where this article originally comes from, Karen Weintraub. No. Thank you. Senior health reporter Karen covers the science behind the and the antidote, as well as other health issues. Bias to fit in facts. The COVID style pandemic could easily start in the U.S. one day ago. Oh. While Americans may think a pandemic like COVID can't start here. Once again, bringing up lax. Oh, did she write a whole bunch of shit? Yes, she did. Fast minds. How to thrive when you have ADHD. Born in Cambridge. The autism revolution. People are going to be saying shit now that I saw all that. Spent 20 years in newsrooms before becoming a freelance writer in January 2010. Uh, health reporter for USA Today. Covered toxics, infectious disease, public health, cancer. Mm. She has an extensive uh, background. She's been in it for a while.
You know, fraud detection. Contributor. Got plenty of profiles. Seattle Times. This widespread disinfecting kill the da 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 it's under debate. Doctor, your patient is waiting. It's a red panda. Okay. That means something, but I can't remember what it means. Daily Beast. She's an inter- it seems like she's very dedicated, but I'm not sure how I feel about this chick. No, that's all. Do what you will with it.